Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. A woman pretended to be a carer to justify driving around the country in lockdown, when in reality she was transporting cocaine. Carla Trace, 43 wore a bogus uniform and had forged travel certificates issued to genuine NHS workers during the pandemic. But instead of caring for the vulnerable, she set off to collect 5 kilograms of cocaine from London in a hired Nissan Juke on April 5, 2020. Trace, of Danes Court, was working for a Cardiff-based gang when she agreed to transport the drugs back to Wales. She was one of six members of an organized crime gang jailed for more than 50 years between them at Cardiff Crown Court as part of Operation Soros. Trace had denied her role in the conspiracy but was found guilty of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs following a trial and jailed for seven years. Police cracked the case after managing to get into an encrypted messaging network called EncroChat mainly used by organized crime gangs. They were able to see how crime boss Luke Mutton, 35, was directing a family business including his brother Jordan Mutton, 32, and sister Kirsty Mutton, 34. Principal member, Craig Anthony, 34 was responsible for dealing up to 7 million pounds of cocaine, police said. Another member of the group was Saswal Abdullah, 27, from Fairwater, who was identified by Mutton himself as being his right-hand man and was in line to eventually take over. South Wales police said, Trace hired a vehicle and disguised herself in a carer's uniform in an attempt to legitimize her travel, in the event she was challenged by authorities. The organized crime group was also able to acquire forged COVID travel certificates that had been issued to genuine NHS staff. The operation evolved from Operation Venetic, a previous national investigation which followed EncroChat being compromised. Craig Anthony, of Gethin Terrace, Porth, pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. He was sentenced to 18 years and 6 months imprisonment. Luke Mutton, of Camellia Court, Fairwater pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. He was sentenced to 15 years and 8 months imprisonment. Jordan Mutton, of Broom Place, Fairwater, was found guilty of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs following a trial. He was sentenced to 7 years imprisonment. Carla Trace, of Klaus Y. Feynor, Danes Court, was found guilty of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs following a trial. She was sentenced to 7 years imprisonment. Paul Jones, of Miskin Road, Tony Pandy, pleaded guilty to money laundering. He was sentenced to four months imprisonment. Kirsty Mutton, of Camellia Court, Fairwater, pleaded guilty to money laundering. She was sentenced to 12 months imprisonment suspended for 18 months, and was ordered to carry out 100 hours unpaid work and a 10-day rehabilitation activity requirement. Saswal Abdullah and Joseph Thomas Mullen will be sentenced at a later date. Detective Constable Jonathan Evans said, The success of these investigations is just a small part of the work we do to make South Wales a hostile environment for drugs criminality. This has been an intensive operation, made successful by the collaboration of different police forces and agencies across the UK. We will continue to tackle the misery drugs cause to our communities. The success of these investigations demonstrates that we will relentlessly pursue those involved in large-scale criminality to ensure effective justice is sought against such individuals and they are brought before the courts. If you suspect drug dealing is taking place or you are concerned that a young person or vulnerable adult may have been targeted by an organized crime group, please tell us. You don't have to be certain, just concerned. Get in touch with our news team by emailing us at webnews at metro.co.uk. For more stories like this, Check our news page. More. Clapham chemical suspect Abdul Ezidi killed himself in Thames hours after attack. More. Man stabbed in violent attack at London Underground Station. More. Sharks high on cocaine after drugs are being flushed down the loo. Privacy policy.